So okay, we did quite much uh, with this. Most of the work was uh, removing the hair. There was a lot of ugly stray hair, so we have to handle this. It's a very important part of every high-end retouch. We cannot have the stray hair. So when we talking about stray hair, there's a lot of them on the background and removing them from the background is actually very easy. And I'm going to show you a very easy way, as I said, how to do this. At first, I'm going to put these two layers to the group just to keep this separate, it will be more comfortable to look at this for you. So Control Command G to put this to the group. I'm just going to call this basic retouch. And now I'm going to create new layer and I'm going to call this background hair. Let's zoom this. I have a very specific thing to do over here. We don't have really nice area. And when you look at this, okay, we can remove the hair here, but in this area we have some weird thing. We It looks like we lost some of the texture, we lost some of the skin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use clone stamp tool first, and hardness will be quite soft. Of course, soft, you have to know, soft hardness is going to destroy the texture sometimes, but we don't have any texture here and now we want to fix this a bit so of course mode as a normal and just do something like this very softly um, you can notice we might change the color a little bit but it doesn't have such a big influence at the end of the road because about these things we're going to take care later so okay very simple step before after I built up some of the texture here, some of the skin, and right now I'm ready to remove this. I'm ready to sort out this area. I'm going to take a step back. I think I went too far. I don't want to cut this out because of course such a things happened, especially with such a sensitive subject as this one. I'm going to make this even bigger. So I'm going to make sure I Okay, we don't need to build this up so much. I think I went too far before, so like this will be better. Okay, and now it looks better than before. So to make it easy, I recommend you to choose pen tool. You can use polygonal lasso tool as well. It depends with which one you feel more comfortable. But first of all, pen tool is easier and pen tool gives you a bit more flexibility. So I'm going to start, of course, pen tool and somewhere here. Do a selection like this. So it's not really difficult. And down here, the reason why, because we have some more hair over here, I would skip it normally, but if I notice such a hair, I have to remove them as well. And here I don't see anything more, just here a bit, and a few more here. Okay, now hit right make selection and feather radius at 3 pixels if you have pretty much standard size of the image 3 pixels is actually alright it can be 4 up to 5 I would say and right now I'm going to choose clone stamp tool once again I'm going to take a clone of the color over here and just paint over it so as you can see super easy method no one should have a problems with it bit here and down here so okay that's it now we can get off of this and that's how it looks like it looks so much better you have to say let's go to the next part 
down here. I don't feel I need to do selection here. If you don't feel comfortable, just do it. I I don't feel I have to do it. And you can notice that it's quite easy to keep a control close to the edges if we have big size of the image. And it just to save off the time. There's no reason to do selection all the times because we always want to make our job done quick. We don't want to spend tons of the hours. Okay. And now I'm going into an other part, which is not that fantastic. It's over here. It's um, quite difficult and I have to use different tools for it. As you can see, I cannot take a clone much here because I don't have enough space. I could take a clone from the other side of the neck, but I feel the color is a bit different. So that's why I'm going to use a brush. So make it smaller. Take a sample of the color and paint with this color. If I'm going to make some of the space like that, you can actually change to the clone stamp tool if you feel it's a bit more comfortable. I feel clone stamp tool can be better when we're getting close to the edges. And we can sort this out with clone stamp tool now. Okay, I'm going to make it smaller now. I'm going to end up this like that. Okay. You can try to make this shape a bit better over here. A bit more roundy. If you have, of course, similar shapes, but something not that strong, not that strict. Okay, it looks well now. And right now we have other part. over here and as you can see I still have too much hair so in this case once again it will be better to use brush tool first I'm going to take this color make it a bit bigger and paint around like this Don't be scared that you're going to remove too much. Usually we remove not enough. Just it's all about to make this image looks professional. Okay, now I'm going to change the clone stamp. And once again, try to make nice roundy shape. To not make it looks too fake, actually, that's only one reason.
need to have a look, but I think this hair I'm going to leave like that. And above here, we have to remove this little hair over here. Of course, we have to work a bit more over here. I can't do this even now. That's what I was saying before. In high end retouch, there's not something like every layer is for uh, separate things because um, it's just way easier to work as it goes. Of course, I have a few more hair to remove here. To keep in order, of course, I can go back and do this on that layer. See? We always find something. So that's how it looks like. Right now I'm going to the top. And I'm going to use clone stamp. Make it a bit bigger. And easily. Okay, I'm going to do step backs. And the reason why because I missed the layer. Okay, use this layer and once again. So okay, that's how it looks like. And you have to say our background looks so much better. It was very easy step, a very important step, of course, in high-end retouch. And in the next lesson, we're still going to talk about the hair.